Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Sonic the Hedgehog, so let's get started. To draw Sonic, we're going to first start by drawing his nose. So I'm going to come right here and draw kind of an upside down U. So deep curve, small curve actually, and then right at the bottom right here, just going to connect it with a curve at the bottom. And since I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and um, shade it in. Just giving a little highlight at the top, but I'm just going to go ahead and shade that in. So from there, we have this little nose in. Let's come to the side of the nose and we're going to draw a curve. So about right here, this is going to be the beginning of the eyes. So same thing on the other side. From there, I'm going to come above this little curve right here and draw a curve that starts at the top. So come about right here. And we're going to go and draw a curve that loops up. Make sure it's connected. And same thing over here. So draw a curve that loops up and connect it. Looks pretty weird right now, right? <laughs> I promise it'll come together. So from there, we're going to continue this curve upwards. So we're starting to draw the eyes. So I'm just going to come up nice and high. So say about that much. Just step back and kind of take a look, say about that much. And then from there, I'm going to come in this area right here and draw a curve that comes down. So I'm coming down to almost about the same level because I'm going to be connecting it. So right here, I'm going to come down with a curve and come right back in here to where I started. That's the basic shape that you're trying to draw. And so same thing on this side. Just bring this up, all the way up. And out. And then from there, about the same width. So let's say about right here. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Bring in the curve. And once again, about the same level, and I'm going to go ahead and connect it. From there, I'm going to come inside here and draw ovals for the pupils er pupil area. So in here, just close to this edge, I'm just going to go ahead and draw an oval shape. And then inside, I'm going to draw another oval, just giving a little border, but exactly the same curve. And I'm going to have my highlights on the left side. So in this area, if you don't have a white uh, marker pen or white out pen, you can just go ahead right here and add in a highlight first and then shade this part in black. So same thing on this side. So right close to the edge right here, we're going to add in a curve. And same thing. Once again, go up. And then inside, same thing. Draw another. And the highlight will be on this side, so just draw a circle on this side and shade this part in. There. And then I'll come in later and show you how you can just color this part in uh, green to complete the eye. Okay, so then we have the eyes in, so then let's come under here and give her, um, give Sonic, I mean, a smile. So right underneath, I'm going to come about right here. And I'm just going to give Sonic here a smirk smile. Cool little mischievous smile. So right here, we're going to cap that off and cap this part off. And then now we can go ahead and start to draw his face. So right where the eye is in this area, we're going to pop out a curve. And this curve is going to come out a little bit beyond the eyes. So same thing over here. 
from there I'm going to connect it with a flatten out curve that's not too not too long just pretty shallow curve right here so let's go ahead and draw this curve that goes all the way across So we have the bottom of the face in. Now let's come and draw the top. So in this little area that we've created, we're gonna go up really close to the eye and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up. So same thing on this side. So you can stop kind of where the eyes are and then from there come up a little bit more. Same thing on this side. Just come up a little bit more. And about that area, we're gonna start the ears. So come up, just big ears, say about that much, and then come down. And then let's imagine this curve coming through for the top of his head. So about right here, we're just gonna bring in a curve. And this side's gonna be wider because we're gonna add a curve right here. And then right here, we're gonna connect it with another curve. So same thing on this side. So now that these two sides are pretty even, we're gonna go up just like the other side. And I'm gonna drag this point across, just an approximate, say about right here. And I'm gonna draw my other ear. And once again, same thing. I'm gonna drag this point across, so approximate about right there. And connect. And then once again, it's gonna be thicker on this side, so just go up. This side's gonna be thinner, come down, and connect. From there to draw the top of um, his head, let's come about right here in this area. And I'm gonna zigzag two curves. So right here, just come up and come in. And then another curve that just pops in about right here. Okay, so before I draw the rest of his mane or his hair, I'm gonna go ahead and finish his body first. So let's come in this area right here, centering his head. So about right here, I'm gonna pop in his shoulder. So two curves. And I'm gonna imagine his armpits would be about right here on both sides. So about right here. And I'm going to slant an angle in on both sides. So from there, I know where to work with his body now. So let's bring this down more. And we're going to start to straighten out as we come down. And let's keep going down. So right here, I'm going to start straighten up and come down. Then in this area, about right here, I'm going to just bring in a curve. So about right in the center, pop in a curve. And I'm gonna to start to draw his legs. So this part is gonna come down. And we're just gonna continue our curve. So same thing on this side. And let's bring this down a tiny bit more. So we're pretty much at the same level. Then from there, I'm gonna come in this area and just draw a curve. So this is for his socks. And since we're here, we're gonna work on this side first. So we're gonna come down for his socks and then connect it with a curve. and then his shoes. So come out and out. 
and this side is going to be a little bit straighter. And on this area, just bring it in and connect back. So then for some details right here, let's come and follow the bottom for our sole. And then there's this white strap right here for his sonic shoes. You pop it out if you like. But that's a simplified version of his shoe. And same thing on this side. So once again, curve. And we're just going to do the exact same thing, but flipped. So definitely use this side as your guide, how far you need to go down. And once again, the same exact thing. Add the soles in and the stripe right here. And that is pretty much it for Sonic shoes. So then we can come back in here and draw his arms. So in this area, I'm having his arms bent and on his hips. So armpit area so we're going to come down with a angle line let's follow and we're going to have his hands about right here so then let's bring this down and about right here i'm going to stop and add a curve and we're going to start to draw his gloved hands so go ahead and connect that and then add a little angle right there curve right there and then in this area we're going to round it off and bring it back in so it's just a simplified way of drawing his hands on his hips so same exact thing right here so i'm just going to bring this uh, right here is where i'm going to stop and let's follow our hand angle so right here same thing there okay so now we can go ahead and i'm going to draw a curve right here for his chest area i'm just going to go around and just loop it together so i did draw sonic before a long time ago a more cartoonish version of Sonic. So this one's a little bit more based on the movie that just came out of Sonic. It's a little bit cooler. <laughs> so please check out that Sonic as well if you love this one. And um, we're pretty much done except now we're going to draw his awesome um, hair or mane. Okay so then let's start with say about in this area where his eyes are. I'm going to say come right here and we're going to draw a big curve that comes down all the way to about there and I'm going to curve it in and then about right here where his ears are I'll pop in another curve and tuck it in so we're going to do the same exact thing on this side so actually I should start with this one first because it's in the foreground so about right here I'm going to come down and we're aiming for about this area right here just like the other side and it doesn't have to be exactly the same so that's why I'm not too worried but about the same size and area and one more. And 
and tuck it in. So the drawing part of Sonic the Hedgehog here is pretty much done. I'm going to come in here and show you how to um, color the eyes. So Sonic's eyes are green and just if you have two different shades of green that's best but if not you can just do with one but you're going to come in here with your lighter green go all the way around and then come back in with your darker green and the top parts right here are going to be darker and just make sure whatever you do, the bottom right here is going to stay light. So that's a key. And come to the edges. You can darken the edges if you like. But the top is always a lot darker. And same thing on this side. And you can come to the edge once again if you like. But keep the tops dark. And I just kind of like to come in here with the green, the light green again, and just kind of blend it in a little bit. And if you like, you can come in here with your black once again and just darken the tops, the edges. Pretty cool, right? So just make sure the tops are darker and the bottom is nice and light. And once again, if um, if you have a whiteout pen or a um, white mark, uh, white paint marker, you can just come in here and make your highlights a lot bigger. But if you don't, then just uh, put in the white circle before you shade in the black. So there, that is pretty much it for this, uh, my new version of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I hope you love how this one turned out and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.